Hi everybody and welcome to this edition of the Bremerton Beat Blast. I'm your host, Kitsap Sun reporter Josh Farley. I'm standing underneath the Warren Avenue Bridge here in lovely Lower Rota Vista Park in West Bremerton. And as usual, I've got five stories that you just gotta know about happening in your town this week. Story number one on our list, we're going to 4th Street and up to the Bremerton Office Machines Company. This is a long-running company started in the 1940s by 94-year-old Bob Montgomery. Mr. Montgomery, though, has now retired. He has an apprentice at the shop who now owns it. His name is Paul Lundy, and he's from Kingston. I spoke with both of them on Monday to find out how the transition of this very unique business has been going. He came by, uh, I think he's, uh, if he hasn't told you, he will, that he came by mostly out of curiosity what I was doing. And if you take, which one is it? I got an underwood here. I started coming in every week, and, and before long, he was giving me machines to work on and then telling me what mistakes I was doing. Um, he gave me old manuals to read, <laughs> and I started having fun. Two years of production for, for underwood. Story number two on our list, the city of Bremerton finds itself on the receiving end of a class action lawsuit. Last Friday, a judge certified that a lawsuit over the Bremerton Navy Blue signs in downtown Bremerton can move forward. What that means is if you got a parking ticket in downtown Bremerton in the last three years, there's a possibility if the lawyers for the plaintiffs are successful that you might get your money back or who knows what the remedy will be. However, city officials maintain that there's nothing illegal about the signs, though arguments for the plaintiffs basically revolve around the idea that the signs are not up to state and federal standards. Not sure where this one's going, but I will be sure to keep you posted in the months ahead. Story number three on our list comes to us from Dawn Road in East Bremerton. That's where the newest charity in Kitsap County has cropped up. However, it's not a new charity. It's called Eastside Baby Corner, and the mission there, as it has been for the last 26 years, is to provide the neediest in our community, those five and younger and their mothers, with clothes, diapers, anything they need to get through those first few years of life. I spoke with Executive Director Renee Zimmerman, uh, as well as Beverly Kincaid, a local grant writer, about why they're starting this charity here in the Bremerton community. The thought that kept running through my mind as I returned from Issaquah was, why don't we have this in the West Sound region? We have so many families in crisis, so many children in poverty, a really high percentage of children uh, experiencing food insufficiency, and kids just not having what they need to thrive. So we're helping children and families that are in crisis and really providing them the basic necessities. It can be anything from diapers, car seats, Things that families need, it could be food, formula, you name it. From head to toe, kids need the stuff. Story number four comes to us from the East Bremerton Fred Meyer. That's where Pablo Lozano works. You might know Mr. Lozano because he got his trike stolen. Now this isn't just a trike that he rides around for fun. It's his commuting vehicle. It's what he uses to get to work. It was stolen last Monday from the location. However, he was able to get a brand new bike from a Seattle bike shop and on Saturday they came and delivered it. And finally, story number five on our list this week is the Warren Avenue Bridge. We've talked a lot about this bridge on the Bremerton Beat Blast, but on Saturday, we're gonna walk it. In fact, we're gonna walk both sides of the bridge and we're gonna learn all of the history about this 1958 built span, as well as things on both sides of it. Lower Rota Vista Park, for instance. 
what is the city doing with the Lebo Boulevard project? All of those things will be discussed on Saturday. We're starting at 1 p.m. at the old CINCOM building, 1720 Warren Avenue, and I sure hope you can join us there. It's free. Be prepared to walk maybe a couple of miles, but uh, we're going to have a great Saturday afternoon, and everybody, I promise, will learn a lot. That's going to do it for this edition of the Bremerton Beat Blast. I hope you have a great rest of your week. I'm going to leave you with the sights and sounds of the dancing horses from last Saturday's Cinco de Mayo Festival in Charleston. And we'll see you again next Tuesday. <laughs>